Yo, what's up, guys? It's Tim from TestDemi.com, live and direct here to bring something into your world to help take you to the next level. So let's get it. Woo! All right. So uh, what are we going to be talking about today? What is on your mind that we can discuss? All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the best programming language to learn when you want to get started in automation testing. Okay. There's a lot of discussions out there. What automation tool do I start with? Do I begin with C sharp, Java, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, PHP? Uh, you know, a lot of people have questions like what programming language do I start with? So today I'm going to do my best to kind of help you answer that question. And hopefully it can take you from where you are today and move you a step closer to making a decision so you can begin your journey in automation. All right, so let's get it. All right, so before I actually jump into it, what I want to first of all say is that it doesn't really matter, right, what tool that you use to, um, or what, or what programming language you use to uh, get started with. The main thing is as long as you get started, because even when you do start off with one programming language, you know, what you want to do is you're eventually going to learn a few more to become more well-rounded and as, and as an automation engineer, right? Someone once said also, like, what is the best way to eat an elephant? You know, it's one bite at a time. So the way I personally see it is, you know, start small. Start with something that's easy to digest. You can kind of get going, get your motivation, your enthusiasm, get you a little groove, you know what I mean? And you'll be ready to go. So with all that being said, my suggestion, right, and the programming language I decided to start off with uh, in my journey to become an automation uh, developer is Python, right? And you might say, oh, I guessed it. Or you might even say, oh, why Python, Tim? Well, the reason is simple. A couple of reasons, right? One great thing I like about Python is its ease of use. If you look at a lot of programming language, right, uh, and you look at the syntax, the syntax is pretty much how it is written for the most part, the grammatical setup, if you will. Pardon me, my English uses if I'm using a bad term, but that's the best way I can use it, right? So the syntax, the, how the language is written and displayed, how you read and write the actual language, right? Python compared to Java and uh, C Sharp or C++ or PHP or any other programming language is by far the easiest to not only read, but also to write, okay? So that's one reason. Another thing we're talking about the ease of use when it comes to Python as a, a introductory programming language uh, to get started in automation testing is it just because of its ease to use it just it gets out of it it gets out of your way. In other words, it helps you get started quicker. You don't have to worry about all oh, you know the curly bra braces and a whole bunch of concepts and things like that. It just gets you started, gets your energy up. You know, at the bottom, like I said, it doesn't matter what language you really start with. The bottom line is. What are you doing? Can you actually really build an automation framework? Can you actually automate uh, an application? Can you make some kind of automation test scripts and scenarios to get started? You know, companies don't really care too much what you use as long as you can use something to get started, okay? Ease of use is the first one. The second thing I'm gonna say, a uh, reason I'm gonna say Python is a great programming language, programming language to get started for automation testing is most universities and colleges out there use it as an introductory language. So in other words, what that means is that Python, because of its strong communal support, a strong community as an open source language, it has a lot of great teaching tools that you can use to get started and really ramp up your knowledge base faster and you will begin to automate test scripts faster. Uh, the third thing I'm going to say here why I believe Python is a great introductory language to start off with is by popular opinion by most programmers and developers, Python uh, won uh, the life hack um, uh, uh, voting uh, 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 event that was done a couple of years ago, voting what was the most popular, the best introductory or programming language for first timers. Python came number one. I believe the second was, um, I want to say maybe Ruby or something. I think, uh, no, no, it was C Sharp, I believe, or C. C. Uh, don't quote me, I think Java was third and things like that. But it was between Python, Java, uh, C, and C Sharp. Uh, JavaScript and I believe Ruby, those are the first, those five languages. And uh, it was done by Lifehacker and Python was voted number one. And for a couple of reasons, portability, the ease of use, uh, the documentation, uh, the community support, uh, the human, read human readability aspect of it. So for a lot of these reasons, Python was voted as the best language for first time users to get started. And if you, if you remember, like I mentioned in one of our other videos, 
The reason why you want to uh, um, be meticulous about the languages you start off with is because the foundation for real automation testing, right? The goal is to begin to, to be an automation tester or to go from manual testing to automation. Well, the foundation of that automation part is uh, programming language. So you might as well pick the easiest programming language to get started, which you can actually get to your goal, which is, you know, perhaps beginning to build automation test uh, scripts and frameworks. In our case, we're going to be going with Selenium WebDriver, and Selenium WebDriver comes with a lot of different bindings or languages, and Python is one of them. So as soon as you can get up to speed on working and coding and practicing with Python, you can quickly begin to use Selenium much faster, because Selenium is just a, a, a library that is called while you're writing your actual programming or your code there. And finally, the great thing why I think Python is a great uh, programming language to get started with when you want to get into automation testing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of big companies out there use um, uh, Python. Uh, YouTube that you're actually watching me on, uh, they use Python. Instagram, which is a popular social media app, uses Python. Spotify, I believe Reddit, and a variety of other great uh, companies, technology companies that use Python, right? So uh, just wanted to drop my insight on why I felt uh, Python is the best programming language to get started with when you want to get into automation testing, you know, go ahead and leave comments below. Tell me, you know, what programming languages you used to get started when you got uh, got started with automation testing or which ones are you contemplating? And if you have uh, any other suggestions, feel free to drop it below. Uh, but to next time, don't forget, please subscribe to keep, uh, keep up to date with the latest videos. We try to drop videos once a week. Also, if you're looking for some free tutorials on training, on uh, QA, software testing as a whole, don't forget to check out testdemi.com. That's T-E-S-T-D-E-M-Y. That's testdemi.com for your videos and training. See you in the next video. Till then, 